Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how to complete the create a calendar item in Canvas. What we want to do is create a calendar event for this course here, which is my sandbox course. Uh, so what we want to do is go to our calendar on the on the left in the global navigation list. We're going to select calendar. And it's going to show you a view such as this. You can always change the view week, month up up in the top here. And some instructors like to work with an with a calendar. It's just kind of takes you back to the old days of just writing on your calendar. And this calendar is going to be um, what your students are going to see as well. So you'll see on the far right, you'll have little boxes for each of your courses. And this is very helpful because if you want to just zero in on one course, you can just check that course. So here's the course that uh, we're, we're in right now. And when I select that course, it's going to show you all of the events in this Intro to Canvas course. So we can see, you know, this is the month of May. You can see there was something due on the 13th, introductions. There's more discussions due on the 16th, the 23rd. So you can see how your students would, would benefit if they like this kind of calendar view to keep them on track. And the good thing about calendars is you can just add stuff right here on the calendar. So it's a lot, like I say, a lot of instructors like to do it this way. So what we're going to do is I'm going to uncheck that calendar. So we're going to go to my sandbox site and you'll see there's nothing on here, but what we want to do is just create an event. And this is good too. If you want to create something that's not, you know, an assignment per se, like this could be a field trip. This could be, uh, a Zoom meeting, office hours. So let's say today is uh, the 29th, and let's say tomorrow I was going to do um, office hours. So I would click on the 30th, double click on the 30th, and then it just gives me this little box where I can choose whether I want to add an event or we can add an assignment. You know, I could actually put in a discussion or a test if I wanted to. You could build your class like this. There's also something called My To Do. You know, these are reminders to yourself. You might want to use this. Your students won't see this. And then you have appointment group. I'll confess I haven't really done appointment groups, so I'm not going to get into that. Uh, so what we want to do is an event. I don't care what your event is. This could be, you know, meeting at the Getty if you're an art art teacher you might want to take them to a museum um, if you're a, a film teacher you might want them to come to a movie screening if you're a music teacher you can tell them there's a free jazz concert whatever it is this can be anything or if you want to go with the old standby you could say office hour the dates already filled in because I clicked on the date which is nice and now we can we can choose the time so it gives me two o'clock um, and you can see it's hours and minutes so if I if, say my office hours at 10 a.m. I'm just gonna go 10 0, 0 and it automatically says a.m. if you can see that little font below but I can type in a.m. just to be sure and then two and then you obviously I could go 12 p.m. and and that's whoops 12 p.m. Let's see if it'll just do 12. This might save us some time here. Okay, and then location. Uh, I could say in Zoom if I wanted to. Uh, and then you have, you can actually choose the calendar. So I'm in the right calendar. I selected that calendar earlier. But if if for some reason I didn't, I could I could change it here. Uh, more options. Let's try that out and see what it is and more options is going to give you this space here where you can add more detail so if I wanted to I could put in my zoom invitation here or I could say um, you know uh, this will be in zoom and then what I like to do is I can ma actually make this a link so if I if I know the link and what I'll do now is I'll, I'll go to where I have Zoom in this class. Actually, for this class, it would be um, Tech Connect. 
So what I'm going to do is I'll right click here and then I'm going to copy the link address. I could have just clicked on this and copied the link as well. Uh, but yeah, either way, I'm just going to get this link to Zoom in my course and then I'll highlight the word Zoom. I'm going to use this little link icon here in the new editor and I'm going to use external links. I know it's in the course, but course links, it's, it's really limited. If I hit course links, it's only going to show me the basic stuff. It, it doesn't show me um, my Zoom link, so, so that's not the one we want. We want a, an external link here. And then we can paste in below where it says link. I can right click, paste that link in, and that's going to take them to the Zoom tool. So I'll click done. And then I can click save. Or, or sorry, create event, blue button. All right, event saved successfully. And now you'll see on my once blank calendar, now on the 30th, I have office hour, and that's where my students can see that. And they'll also see this on the syllabus, which is really convenient, and they probably will see this also on their to-do list. And uh, it's kind of a nice feature for you to add these events that aren't necessarily assignments, uh, but you want them to show up for your students. So now if I click on this, it'll, it'll, do, it'll show me a little preview like this, and I can test my link. Always test your links if you create a link. And that's going to take the students right to Zoom. So that link worked. This is where my Zoom is in this course. Uh, now I would have to actually create the Zoom event, but we won't get into that. So now that that's done, you can just copy the link to this and submit it as the assignment. Thanks for watching.